Welcome back guys, it's your boy the Ace, back with another red teaming endeavour. So, let's set the scene. Imagine you're a red teamer on an engagement. You've exfiltrated some sensitive data out of a client's internal network, some passwords, hashes, maybe a SSH key. But now, how the hell do you get that data out without raising any alarms? Welcome to the world of Stegnography. Stegnography? Steg, let's call it Steg for now. The art of hiding information in plain sight, as it were. That being said, let's get straight into this bad boy and buckle up. Turn up those speakers and let's go. go. This video is intended for educational and informational purposes only. All actions demonstrated are conducted in a controlled, safe environment by trained professionals or with proper authorization. This content complies with YouTube's community guidelines and does not promote or encourage illegal, harmful, or dangerous activities. Viewer discretion is advised. So let's get started. So to begin, we will first use this command. It will be a sudo apt update. That's if you need to update your repos locally. I don't need to do that. And you can double ambassand that to combine a command. And then you just apt install stegheid. So let's run that. So once that's done, we can just clear the screen. We can CD into desktop, which we want to be, and we could just LS into this section. As you can see, I've got a harmless image of myself, as it were, on the screen. Now, what we also need to supplement that with is a credentials text. So I'll just call it, this is the data I wanted out and then you would save that in the same directory where that image is and we will call it credentials.txt for example and there we have it we should have two files now on the right side next is the case of hiding said data so we'll use the steg hide command to embed the credentials inside the file and the image itself. When prompted, we set a passphrase that will act as a decrypting key. So now that's clear, we can actually begin the embedding process. So we use steghide and then we'll use embed and then CF will tell us, actually, can we H any of this? Let's do steghide help so we can just see exactly what commands we can use and can't use as you can see it's quite well documented so we have display information about the cover steg file we want to use the cf which is the cover file so select a cover file we want that we got password as well ef will be select the file in bed okay and then we've got extraction options so you've got embedding options and extraction options so it works both ways now we're clear on that we can go to steg hide and then we want the embed as we just saw then we want to use the cf as the cover file our cover file is that pen jpeg and the credentials text we want to hide to unlock this so this is the decryption sorry the encryption part of it first is the credentials text oh I can see where the mistake is. So we've got the CF, but we didn't actually have any encryption happening. So the C, the EF section will be the credentials. So now we can enter a password to encrypt it. Let's keep it nice and simple. Re-enter that password now. And there you have it. So embedding the whatever was in this extraction, this could be, like I mentioned, some SSH keys, some confidential data, so all of that context, so all of this now, we've merged it into this once harmless image. So this image now actually has this data inside of it, believe it or not. So now just to clarify that, we could do an LS and we could do a LH for a hex comparison of that file. And here we have it. 
so visually the image looks exactly the same but like i said under the hood it contains all the encrypted data that we wanted to hide now the other side of the coin of course is extracting on the attacking side now i don't need to simulate two different environments but you could imagine you have another linux box or you can have another windows box because it'll work the same way and it's almost the same command but in reverse so now what we'd say is the steg hide let's clear this out first so it's nice and clean so we would say steg hide again and then now we would extract doesn't auto complete which is a shame extract and then we will extract the data with a sf as we saw and the well we don't have that it's called penace jpeg let's delete this just so we can see what happens here so we've deleted the credentials that we did have and then we'll click that we'll enter the password that we encrypted all that data with inside that image and now you can see here another file popped up on that extraction and that is all the data that was stored secretly inside that image amazing now as an additional layer to this if you were if you wanted to get extra stealth about things you can encrypt the file before embedding it so that way even if someone extracts it and they have that password they'll need a second password to even get into that so it's two layers of security we can do that quite easily we we'll use the gpg command so if you gpg help even so here we can see the man of the gpg and as you can see it provides encryptions for rasa and all the standardized encryptions you can get the ciphers running from the encryption standard all the way to or the camilla standard and it does even provide the shah standard so you can go all the way to military grade really if you really wanted to and then here's all the command sets the one i'm really interested in here is the c the symmetric encryptions but like you see here the list is quite extensive so let's go back to what we was doing so it's gpg and then i want symmetric encryption on that credentials and then what would that what this will do you will see it will output another type of file under that same name but a gpg encryption version of course we got a typo here it's embed and they want the passphrase now re-enter the passphrase and there we have it so we now we have a different type of file embedding txt in this file so if we get rid of these two now now we have the credentials txt which we embedded with the gpg now if you wanted to extract this we would have to do the reverse of all of that process we'll do that for the fun of it but we'll have to go into steg hide and then extract Uh, SF and then we'll go into Penace put the password in into that now that's given us the file back but then you'd have to decrypt the GPG under the GPT standard so that's another layer of decryption because you can't, just can't open that file and that's that and you can see here no command supplied trying to guess what you mean we went for the aes encryption and then encrypted with one passphrase which we already unencrypted it with and there we have it conclusion and that's how you embed data in an image using steg hide of one of many tools that can be used quite slick and very neat to work with if you found this useful or something that you might use in the future, drop a comment. Make sure you subscribe for more deeper dives. 
and just let me know what you meant to look at next. If you like building payloads and executing them from inside an image, we can work on that maybe. So stay safe in the cyberspace and peace out.